Hi guys, Chris McLean back with another quick tutorial on the Biz Online Starter Pack. And we're looking at one of the Photoshop templates here. And really the only one of the Photoshop templates that has some restrictions on it. So that's why we're doing a quick tutorial on it. The other templates you can just get in and, and create your own images and text and there's no limitations. This is the Facebook Ad Image Designer. And there's a restriction within Facebook guidelines that your images uh, for your ads can only contain maximum of 20% text coverage. So we've allowed for that in this temp template um, by creating guides uh, which mimic Facebook's online grid tool, uh, which is a tool that you can go online, upload your actual photo, click on all of the boxes that contain text, and Facebook will tell you what percentage is covered in text. But basically, you get five boxes, so you can have a maximum of five boxes uh, that can be allocated or covered in text. Uh, easy way to switch these off on on is to go into view, show, guides, or you've got the shortcut key there, and you can switch those, toggle those on and off within Photoshop to see what's visible. And you know you can drop any image in, and you can drop your text in. So if this was your ad, um, this is completely fine because you can see I've got one, two, three boxes covered with text, but say I were to have an ad that had that much text in it, I've got six boxes covered in text, so that wouldn't be acceptable to Facebook and I would have that ad disapproved, which is what you really want to avoid with Facebook ads is disapprovals. So that would not be approved, um, but then you know, if I came book and I came in and I simply change that and drop that in there, then I've got one, two, three, four, five boxes covered by text so that would be acceptable to Facebook. Um, and this is really useful too, because um, the placement of your text, you can be very sneaky with the placement of your text to maximize the amount of text in your ads if you're using text. Um, as, as you just saw, that placement there puts that across two boxes. If I move it across, suddenly that same text is across three boxes, and now I'm covering six boxes, and that's more than 20%, so Facebook would disapprove that ad. So it's a really useful overlay just to see how your ads are set up and to make sure that they're compliant with Facebook guidelines. So enjoy, create some awesome ads, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Cheers, guys.